Well, hello, this is Shane with Metro Augusta Inspection Services. We're starting a new series called Interview with an Agent. So um, here with, today we have Carrie Miller with Blanchard & Calhoun. Thank her for being here with us. Um, so what I'm going to do is just ask her some basic questions on that I hear a lot. So one of the things is, okay, I'm getting ready to sell my house. What's the first thing that I need to do? I would say, first of all, make sure your house is clean. And second of all, just be open-minded. Just know that other people are going to be coming in to see your house. And although we all love our own houses, you just need to be open-minded that you may need to make a few changes to make it marketable. That's very good. Okay, so we're starting that process. Those are great things. Okay, inside my house, what are some things you need to do? I need to clean up. What are some things I can do inside my house to get it ready? I would say make sure there's nice fresh paint, make sure your baseboards are free of dust. That may mean that they need a deep cleaning and maybe they need a fresh coat of paint. Um, your carpet doesn't necessarily have to be brand new, but I would definitely recommend that it look as new as possible. So you may need to have it steam cleaned. Um, I would maybe recommend decluttering if you have a lot of personal effects around the home. That's great. Okay, last question I'll ask and just, you know, getting ready to sell that house. Are there any kind of inspections you need to get? Do you need to get termite letter, things like that? Or, or should you just wait till after? What, what would be your recommendations, Carrie? That's a good question and I get that question a lot. I would say maybe if your home is older or if you've inherited a house and maybe you're not sure what you're getting into, I would recommend maybe having a pre-list just so you, there are no surprises because it will help with setting the list price and with negotiations down the road. So if you suspect that you have a roofing problem or maybe a foundation issue, I would go ahead and get those inspections um, because you're better off to go ahead and get those items fixed or go ahead and just um, you know, already have that kind of in the price so that um, you're not in a scrambling situation at the end if you, if you encounter a large dollar item well, that is great stuff, Carrie. Thanks again for being part of our new series here. Again, this was Shane with Metro Gus Inspection Services. Thank you. Check us out online, but have a great rest of your day. Thank you.